Marketing Mixed Promotion Tracy IGCSC IGCSE Business Studies 0450 Hello everyone if you are new to this channel hi this is crazy igcse where you can study seven igcse subjects which include business economics accounts science maths and english also some tips and solved past papers so here is igcse at your fingertips please do subscribe and like This is the syllabus for it. We're going to look at the aims of promotion, different forms of promotion, and the importance of the marketing budget. Now, the aims of promotion is to increase sales. Second is to increase the market share, to enhance the brand image, to have a good brand image in the market, to launch new products in the market, and to maintain competitiveness with other companies. Now let's look at the two types of advertising. First is informative advertising. This is when there is audience detailed information on the product. So the main purpose of this advertisement is to inform the customers about the product. Second is persuasive advertising. This is when the advertisement is trying to persuade the consumers to buy the product. So this is not informing about the product but it is trying to attract the customers to buy the product now let's look at the methods of advertising first is a local newspaper or a national newspaper the advantages are that it is cheap so it is cheap to advertise in a newspaper and there is a lot of information that can be provided in it also it is a hard copy resource so any time there is need to there is needed to be any um, checking about the advertisement the customers can directly go and check the newspaper and find that advertisement easily this advantage is that it's going to be a very non appealing so it's not going to like attract the customers because it's going to be very plain and boring then it is television the advantages are that the television is seen by many people a lot of people watch tv and that's going to help attract and build the customer base also it is very interesting because there'll be many pictures and it's going to be very attractive and they can choose the time they want to advertise the disadvantage is that it is very expensive to advertise through tv third is internet so through internet a lot of information can be passed like for e uh, e-commerce so this is when they'll be trading through the internet and that's going to be like a lot of information can be provided compared to hard copies now other points are leaflets they are cheap and it's also like a hard copy resource and it can build a large customer base nowadays a lot of people use social media and that's a very good um way to advertise because everyone uses social media and it is much easier to reach the target customer target audience through social media billboards as well as specialist magazines so this will be read by a target audience example the magazine is mainly set to talk about cars to inform about cars so there'll be a particular target audience it will be very detailed and very specific so only the car uh, people who are interested in cars will be reading that magazine so this is another way of advertising now sales promotion sales promotion there are different types of sales promotion first is price reduction this is when they reduce the price to attract customers and they uh, perform more sales they increase their sales by reducing their prices because it will attract the customers and other one is gifts so when a consumer is buying a product in that product an other gift will be given like example are toys so in when you buy cereal there will be toys which will come as a complimentary to attract the customers and to buy that product the other one is competitions so this is when products that come with entry to competition such as winning a prize like a win a car or airplane ticket so there are many types of competitions like that 
when point of sales display and demonstrations so this is when demonstrations to show product how the product works like you know food displays or cooking demonstrations at supermarkets so when you go to any supermarket you may see a particular person trying to advertise a food product or something similar to that like um, maybe makeup or shampoos creams anything like that so they are going to show you how that product works example if it's food so you're going to taste the food and come to know how that food tastes like and that's going to make you buy the product later on if it is appealing to you advantages of sales promotion include it is easier to maintain higher sales throughout the year it will encourage cons- consumers to buy the products and it will increase the competitiveness amongst the businesses now let's look at what a marketing budget is a marketing budget is a financial plan for mainly marketing of a product for a specific amount of time so now to advertise or market a product there will be a lot of things which need to be looked at and for that there will be a lot of expenses to be incurred that's the reason businesses come up with a financial plan or the marketing budget to know how much is needed to be spent now which type of promotion to use this will be based on the stage of the product life cycle advertising budget and the nature of the product itself public relations are strategies used to promote a good image for the business like sponsorships sponsoring activities such as sports or charity events so this is the end of the video i hope you found this video useful and if you did please do like and share also don't forget to subscribe thank you for watching crazy igcse